We are beginning a full day's vlog of content, beginning with basketball. We are in Dawson Springs here at their amazing floor. It's one of my favorite venues to go to in the second region. And so uh, girls are warming up right now, getting ready for a 1 p.m. tip-off here on a Saturday. We'll have the Ho-Ho Hotline and the Noon Kiwanis Christmas Parade a little bit later on. As you can see, I am set up and ready to go. Shooting, maybe drills, maybe ball handling. This one is on trapping because Trinity with another steal. Steal by Trinity. They will lay it up and in as they will push the lead now to 56 to 21 off of that layup made by Nina McDaniel, who now has four. Dawson springs into the front court, goes right side as this one swatted out of bounds on a rejection on a shot attempt by Bailey Swatzel. They'll actually say a foul on the wrist, and so Swatzel will go to the free throw line for two. Uh, very respectable. You know, how many... I, I, I'm glad Hernandez is using that whole bitch. I'm glad. A three missed by Swatzel on the left wing. Here comes Trinity Whitesville quickly up the other side. We'll turn it over as Oldham commits the, the turnover there, turn, gets the ball, and then it'll immediately throw it back the other direction as Trinity will grab it. And we'll have a foul. Out of bounds in front of the Dawson bench. Here comes Trinity Whitesville. We'll try to capitalize on it and put some more points up on the board on the wing. A lot of arms flailing right there as a jumper on the left, on the right wing, excuse me, misfires. Loose ball. Colson trying to come away with it for Dawson Springs. They're still battling it out. Melissa Allison in there as well. They are feisty. Fighting all over the place for the loose ball. Finally, Trinity comes away with it. They try to penetrate inside. No good with the off-balance shot. And now the ball out of bounds, turned over to Dawson Springs. So all of that for nothing if you're Trinity Whitesville, <laughs> other than killing some more clock. 3.03 to go. 59-21. Three minutes to go in the ball game, and just been just been Trinity. That's it. Period. Dawson Springs trying to do something with it here on this possession, down 59-21, and the ball will be tapped out of bounds as a substitution will come in for the Lady Panthers. Olivia Hines, eighth grader, eighth grader will check in. Get a little bit of time in. I like it. Alyssa Allison on the baseline puts it in. Gives it to her teammate who draws contact and a whistle underneath. Two free throws coming for Bailey Swatzel. North Pole Radio here as we're doing the Ho Ho Hotline in our front studio space. There is the tree behind me. We're decorating our decorative here, uh, ready for the holiday season and getting ready for the noon Kiwanis Christmas parade. I'll show you a couple of clips hopefully on this vlog from that as we're in the front studio space. Uh, I've got Santa over there. He's kind of dark on this. I'm gonna turn my camera around. Uh, Mrs. Claus over there, right next to the highway. A bunch of traffic. Let me turn the camera around. Santa is dancing to all the music that we're playing here on North Pole Radio. Mrs. Claus over there, keeping him in check this holiday season. Probably thinking about all the cookies she has to go home and bake when. They leave here to go back to the North Pole. But we got drums, we got the soldiers. This is where the parade will be making its way. And then, so we're talking to kids here in Hopkins County with the Ho Ho Hotline. And then soon enough, we will have the parade. There are 152 entries on this list that Aaron provided me yesterday. 152 so and I don't even know how many pages it's probably like six seven eight pages here that we have to go through but yeah a lot of uh, people who are participating this is the 25th anniversary for the noon Kiwanis Christmas parade and so as traffic is making its way downtown right now that will soon stop and we'll have a parade that we'll be able to show you on today's vlog all right, we are getting ready to begin the noon Kiwanis Christmas Parade. You can see some people outside, people hanging outside of our studio right here. Uh, a lot of reflection. I don't know if you can see downtown, but there is a lot of people who are hanging out. So this is our vantage point of the parade. A bunch of people hang out. Uh, we've got dominoes across the street. So we're just getting ready to go live here in just a moment. 
I am recording. You'll be able to go back on to WTTLradio.com and listen to the entirety of this broadcast as I have the board ready. So get ready to listen uh, to that as the recording should be uploaded on WTTLradio.com. We're in studio, about to go on. I've got Sarah Beth Brewer in here with me as uh, we're going to broadcast this. So you'll be hearing our voices on the recording. My YouTube channel from what it looks like from our standpoint in this uh in our studio space here that you can go at Radio Trevor Rice and watch. So uh, showing a little bit of the parade here as uh, coming up next, we have the Kiwanis banner and then the grand marshal for this event is Randy Franklin. Barry Global also will be represented with White Plains Voluntary uh, Fire Department as well. And you want to talk about a truck that is well lit. Look at this pickup That's driving by, beautiful. Sarah. <laughs> And an, infla uh, an inflatable that is the Grinch in the, the back. And so looking very decorative here as we're seeing uh, the parade start to go by here. And at this point, I'm wondering if some of these people even have candy left over to throw I out. I wondered that myself, yeah. So coming up, we have our first fire engine, which is going to be the White Plains Voluntary Fire Department, I do believe. Behind them will be A&M Monogram. So making their way down South Main, the, of course the parade begins up near the hospital and makes its way down Main Street and then will end over here at Car Mart, which is just about a half a block down the road from us here at 265 South Main Street. So uh, if you see us, wave at us if you're listening from the parade. Boat here that is decorated in spirit for the holiday season. That's So we see a bass boat going by, and it's been a long time since I've gone fishing. Do you go fishing at all? I do sometimes. We actually have a pond in our yard, so um, it's it's fun to just step out in the front porch and you know fish. So you have a pond. What 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 do you have out there as far as fish goes? Um, we have some catfish, some bluegill. We got some bass. We got a little bit of everything. So, but they're kind of like our pets. We throw them back. So. We have to travel down to Murray for a week from today. So we'll be down there, and uh, North Hopkins will play a couple of schools from Tennessee next Saturday. The boys will, and the girls will at uh, 5 p.m. next Saturday. So uh, the semi making his way as he's blowing his horn. And that is a rig that is traveling all across the state as the North Hopkins marching band. They expect to go and compete and win at all costs throughout the entirety of our state. And so everyone across this entire uh, state, western side of the state, even eastern Kentucky, they know all about the marching maroons. As we see a lot more of the parade making its way. So this is going to be number 15 with uh, the Madisonville North Hopkins High School Band Semi making its way. And it looks beautiful. They decorated that. I don't know how much time. That, it, looks, that, that, it looks great. It might be one of my favorites so far, actually. I don't know what size ladder you're going to need for that, but that couldn't have been an easy task. A big one. <laughs> As they have the M outlined with Christmas lights. At least a handful of people are working on this because oh, there's absolutely. no way that one person could do this. This is going back to school. You know, you have the group projects where one or two people out of a four-man team would usually do all the work. Right. <laughs> That's some of this, these, these projects here, like you need everybody having a hand in it and doing something because if you don't, then something could go wrong. And next thing you know, you don't have lights that are lighting up on your school bus. And this one looks right. phenomenal. They got some eyeballs in the front window. They look great. So again, there's a greater lighthouse uh, with, with a band right here. Uh, so greater lighthouse Pentecostal church. And then behind them should be Oasis Southwest Grill. And then we should have our very own Mrs. Claus, who is making her way down in the WTTL vehicle. And I say our very own because, well, she makes, makes herself known in commercials for Madisonville Garage Doors. <laughs> so she might as well be a team member at this point. So I wonder if anyone has, given, or has received the special gift yet. Uh, that she had something special she was throwing out. So I'm going to guess that she probably did. But this will be number 22 going by, so Oasis Southwest Grill. And then number 23 will be our very own WTTO vehicle with Mrs. Claus. 
and we'll see if she's paying attention. I see her waving. I see her waving right there, and I see her driver, who I believe is Doug. Doug, you get the thumbs up. Good to, good to see you all. Glad you're listening in on us. And we'll be looking for you to stop by here in just a little bit after you wrap up the parade. And maybe we'll have Mrs. Claus here in the studio with us to help us finish out. Of course, we, we had her and Santa in, in studio, and so Santa's bringing up the rear, so she'll have to make sure that, uh, you know, Santa gets here, you know, and she'll have to make sure he gets back to the North Pole because he's got a busy schedule for the right. weeks ahead. We're fortunate we have Santa and Mrs. Claus with us tonight. Most definitely. As we see the fire engines going by, they are lit up. In fact, this might be all four of their engines right here. St. Charles goes all out. They did. They showed up to show out tonight. I love it. This is all four of their engines right now going by. So St. Charles, shout out to them. Uh, we have a couple of businesses who support Dawson Springs Athletics down in that area. So shout out to everybody down in, in St. Charles as all four engines are represented in this year's parade. Making its way right here in front of our studio now will be, this is going to be Western Kentucky American uh, Red Cross just went by, and then Webster Towing and Recovery. So Webster Towing making its way by as there's a couple of tow trucks with the Webster Towing guys. And they got an inflatable on the back of that truck. I guess that's better than the real thing, considering whose vehicle it might be in the future. <laughs> yeah, we don't I've, want that. I've had to have my truck on the back of one recently. Yeah. This is going to be number 58, the Cheers Transportation Semi making its way by here in front of our studio space. So many people making up this year's noon Kiwanis Christmas Parade. And we're glad that everybody is listening to us here on 106.9 TTL. Tonight's par uh, parade coverage is brought to you by Madisonville Garage Doors. Madisonville Garage Doors. Go and see Chris and the gang over there, 1000 Margaret Court. They are the area's only CHI and LiftMaster dealer. Something like that. They have a spinning decoration. And yeah, it looks like ice skaters or something awesome. like that on there. And so up next, we will have Muth Concrete making its way at 88. More fire engines making their way downtown. If you can hear it, I'm sure the, the microphone on my phone is picking that up as we speak. Yes. As well as the microphones here in the studio where the, you're listening to this broadcast right now will be Nebo Fire and Rescue, making sure that everybody knows they exist. Shout out to everybody. We appreciate all of our rescue squads, fire departments, Nebo. I just drove through Nebo last night going to call a Webster County Dawson Springs basketball game. Um, I listened to that. Uh, doors, the area's only CHI and LiftMaster dealer. Of course, they have a new location with Owensboro Garage Doors. Same company, same business model, same great people as they are making their way by. And so the entire crew, Chris and his gang, they do a phenomenal job. They, you know, they help out the community. They collect canned goods uh, for different nonprofits, and they make an impact in a positive way, uh, supporting different uh, different teams and things like that, including what we do here at WTTL. So, Madisonville Garage Doors, Chris, and, and the entire crew, we appreciate everything that you do for us here at our radio station group. I'm saying like. We need something very similar to that in, in this front studio space to make it look like a globe inside this studio. When you uh, do that, Trevor, I want to be invited. <laughs> I want to I be here when that happens. I don't know if my boss would necessarily enjoy that, but <laughs> it would make it more festive and looking like a, a globe here in our front studio true. space. Wow, well, they're wearing their, their fire gear. That's impressive. I'm sure it's heavy. Oh, the 9-11 the, the, the Heroes Run? They yeah. actually run in their their fire equipment, their fire gear. Presented by Madisonville Garage Doors. Mrs. Claus is out here waving to everybody as they go by as well, waiting for 
her husband to uh, go by and just bring it up the rear. Santa Claus will eventually come this way as we are festive here in our studio space. And I'm sure a lot of people are looking in. Shout out to everybody who might be listening to us, whether you're on the listening to us through the radio, online with WTTLradio.com, Sarah's TikTok page. That is what you're streaming on, right, TikTok? Yes, sir. How many followers do you have on TikTok? Um, like 12.5 thousand, something. 12 and a half. Claus is making his way down here in front of our studio space. He's sticking out of the chimney. They have a house on a flatbed trailer being pulled by a tractor. And so Santa Claus is sticking out of the chimney waving at all the good boys and girls of Madisonville and Hopkins County. There he goes, and you'll see it on my blog post, which will probably go up over the next couple of days. That'll do it for this vlog. Appreciate you all watching. I'll have some more content coming here in the near future. We'll have, again, every single week, our Hopkins County Humane Society Pet of the Week. Otherwise, I'll be showing some vlog content from various things that's going on here in the month of December. Be good to one another. We'll see you back here in the next one soon. Bye.